Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So, this is a tutorial on how I made my all-in-one PC. So, in the last video, I showed you guys a PC which runs four different OSs. Windows 10, Linux, Chrome OS, and Android. So, that was a quadruple boot system. So, now listen carefully if you want to try this first please just listen carefully for one minute and then proceed this tutorial is not for super new person okay keep that in mind if you have never done a operating system installation by yourself then do not try because later you won't be able to recover if you don't know how to install then i'm sure that uh, you won't be able to install your regular uh, operating system so do not try and i'm not going to be showing you guys a very detailed how to install operating system because it's going to take hours for example let's say if you don't know how to install windows there is no point of watching this video and if you don't know how to install linux no you cannot do it if you don't know how to install chrome os no if you don't know how to install android no but if you have ever done a dual boot such as windows and linux then you can try it because you have a idea that how it works and uh, for a normal techie guy i don't think it's a very difficult task if you have ever done a installation of os then it's very easy but if you have never, please do not try. I'm saying this again and again, but please don't try. So that being said, let's go. And let me give you the uh, extra tip. Let's say, for example, you know how to install Windows, but you don't know how to install Linux. Please watch other videos on how to install Linux. Just uh, uh search on youtube same thing goes for the how to install chrome os same thing goes for the how to install android just watch the video if you're a techie guy you will easily understand this so to make this all in one pc you have to keep one thing in mind you have to install all of these operating systems in sequence so what i mean by sequence is that first you need to install windows then linux then android and at the end we have to install chrome os otherwise it won't work one of these operating system will fail to boot or doesn't even show up so make sure that chrome os will be at the end you have to install chrome os at the end if you install windows 10 and then chrome os windows 10 and chrome os will boot but there is no guarantee that android and linux will boot so please install chrome os at the end so i will put link in the description for all the four os's that i will be installing to make a all-in-one pc so go to the link in the description it will take you to my website from there you can click on individual links and it will take you to the official site from there you can download the operating systems and I will also put link in the description for Rufus, which I used to make a bootable USB drive for all of these operating systems. So first step is to install a Windows 10. So first we're going to have to make a bootable USB drive of Windows 10. And I used Rufus and I made a bootable USB drive and installed Windows 10. But if you have Windows 10 pre-installed, you don't have to reinstall Windows 10. Just skip ahead uh, to where I install Linux. And I'm sure that you know how to install Windows 10. You're very smart. I know that.
So once you have installed Windows 10 or you have pre-installed Windows 10, now you need to make a three more partitions to install three more operating systems. So that's what I did here. And uh, I made three partitions of my SSD drive. And I also recommend you guys to use the SSD for faster boot up. But if you want to use mix SSD and HDD, you can do that. But uh, yeah, if you have enough SSD storage, I do recommend you guys to use all of your partitions of SSD drive. And I made all of these partitions uh, different gigabytes. So later I'll know which operating system I want to install in specific partitions. So do make that changes. For example, if you want to install a Linux in 100 gigabyte, just make 100 and a little bit different for Android and a little bit different for the Chrome OS. 180, 90 or 150, 180, 90, something like that. So you got the idea. Do not make a partition. Uh, of same size because later you'll get confused when uh, you're installing a different operating system. So same thing goes for the Linux installation. I made bootable USB flash drive using Rufus and I installed Linux. <music> So same thing goes for the Android installation. I made a bootable USB drive using Rufus and installed Android. And as I said, if you don't know how to install Android, just go to YouTube and just learn. All you need to do here is that, so you made different partitions. So whenever you're installing a new operating system select one of those partitions which one is free and if you install all of these operating systems in different partitions the quadruple boot system will automatically work you don't have to do anything uh, beside as i said the chrome os has to be installed at the end so that's the only thing you need to keep in mind <laughs> So same thing goes for the Chrome OS. For the Chrome OS, I use Ferry OS, which is a Chrome OS basically. And uh, yeah, I did the same thing. I made bootable USB drive using Rufus and installed Ferry OS. That's it. With the installation of Chrome OS, AKA Ferry OS, you will get a new boot manager called refined boot manager which will show you all the operating systems that you have installed windows linux android and chrome os and you can switch in between them whenever you restart your pc so it's simple as that and that's it hope you enjoyed it i know this is not a very detailed video because uh, if i really do a detailed video uh, it will the video length will be around five to six hours because I will have to explain every single piece of operating systems installation. If I do that, that will be for new people who have never done these kind of things. So uh, this is for little bit expert or techie guy who understands how the operating system dual booting and quadruple or triple booting works and uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm really sorry for not making a detailed video, but uh, uh, this is for your own safety, actually. If you have never done a dual booting or if you have never tried a Linux, then 
I don't think you should be trying this. So this is just for those people who wants to try and who knows how the uh, operating system installation works and how the dual booting or tri triple booting or quadruple booting works and you know who knows how to recover a PC if anything goes wrong. You know this is for those people and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for all of these operating systems and Rufus you can go there download and have fun and yeah if you have anything to say uh, just leave a comment and I'll read your comment and probably reply <laughs> so that's it I will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye